How's it going? All right. Couldn't you pass me another tack? Yeah. <sighs> Ruth, put it she left a bit, will you? Look, do you want to do it? How can I? I've got to look after the stool. Oh, that's just brilliant. I need to do it on my own then, shall I? Well, I've got ten pairs of hands, have I? Well, you're good. No. No, no. no. Um, you just got a lot to do, that's all. Yeah, that's right. There wasn't much left. That's great, Martin, isn't it? That's brilliant. Early. Don't be silly. I wanted to be here for you. Martin! Mum's here, come on. So, mm? how's the baby? How uh, Vicky and Michelle? Oh, they're fine. Just let me get my coat off. Yeah. I'll tell you what you've done ever so well, Mark. It looks really nice. It's nothing. Mm. But where's my Martin? Martin! Come on, mate. Ruth shouldn't be long, Mum. She's going out shopping. All right. Oh, there he is. Come on, come and give your mum a cuddle. Oh, you could do better than that. Come on. That's my boy. That was lovely, Ruth. You know, I couldn't take to that fast food over there. I didn't really like it. <laughs> now then, you haven't told me all your news. What do you care? Martin. Right then. Are you two going to tell me what's wrong with Martin? He doesn't mean it, Mum. While you're in America, he, uh... He'd gone to a bit of trouble at school. Tr what sort of trouble? he got gone to a fight after a boy told him that I had AIDS. Why didn't you phone me? I didn't want to spoil it for you. Anyway, it's OK now. I mean, it's taking time, but he's settling in. But I had to tell him the truth, Mum. I had to explain to him what it meant to be HIV. Oh, Mark. I had to. I owed it to him. Well, how did he... I mean... Well, he was upset, of course, and he... Wanted to turn to you, but you're away, weren't you? Oh, poor Martin. I better go and talk to Mum. I just want to say that I'm, I'm really glad that you came home for Christmas, and I think we should have a really good time for Martin and for Dad. Yeah. 